I love and hate being right. I told my friends that we are not the world leaders when it comes to the fucking military. China is. And here it is today reported. Right. The Pentagon warning in a new report that China now has the world's largest navy and that it's not just increasing in size but also in quality. How much of a threat is this to the United States? Let's ask Gordon Chang, the author of The Coming Collapse of China. Uh, Gordon, uh, China seems to be developing the ability to project power all around the world. Now, it, it says, hey, the United States can do that. We should be able to do that, too. Right. Do you see it that way? Well, I don't, John. Because well, of course you don't, because you're a dickhead. The United States the current international system. China is trying to overthrow it. China is trying to close off the global commons and try to keep it open for everybody. And China is trying to dismember its neighbors from uh, India to Japan. So it's disrupting peace and stability. They're building they're islands. <laughs> it's a very, very different uh, objectives that we have. Building regions in the sea. And they have in China this worldview that suggests that they believe that they are kind of the only legitimate um, world power. Is that right? Yeah, Xi Jinping has been talking increasingly about this Tianxian notion, the notion that China has the mandate of heaven to rule the entire world. They not only have the right to do it, they have the obligation to do it. He's become very specific about this in public, and so have his officials, which means they are trying to change the international system, not to compete within it. But the title of your book is The Coming Collapse of China. How, how can that be uh, you know, in fact, they are building up their military to such level. Yeah, in 2001, I thought it would take 10 years um, for the Communist Party to fall, so I'm obviously wrong. But the 2008 global downturn intervened. But what we're seeing right now, John, is a very worrying uh, mentality in China. I think they're starting to see a closing window of opportunity because of the problems in the economy, in the environment, demography, you name it. And so um, I think China it believes it needs to move fast. And that means we are going to see problems not in the 2030s, but we're going to see problems now. And many Chinese military leader, leaders, you say, are restive for war. Yeah, well, they're obviously got a bloodlust. We saw this on the night of June 15th. We're in a premeditated move. They killed 20 Indian soldiers. An Indian soldier died last week. Um, you know, we see very provocative, very belligerent moves around China's periphery. So, again. I was right. We do not have the best military in the world. China does. Wake up, people.